Mullen, what's going on with Mullen this morning? I'm going to give you some news, some price targets, some warnings, where I see the stock going, where's it been, uh, what's in the news today, uh, what's my position of Mullen. Uh, let's talk about it just for a moment. So just a brief video. Uh, I've got some Mullen uh, and uh, I am down, but today we're up 34%. Why are we up? And should we get excited the fact that we're up 33%? Well, let me share with you, first of all, my position. You can see here I bought a long time ago an average cost of 762. Remember those days? Uh, when we thought Mullen was going to do something, 762. Yes, uh, 88 shares at this point. I've sold a lot of my other position. This is just my trading position on my Roth IRA where I can trade tax free. And I'm down a wonderful 95%. So am I excited today? It's gone up 34%. How my heck is like? No, not at all. Should you buy it at 35 cents? Is it worth it? Is it is it another uh, Peter Cried Wolf a situation? P not P Peter Cried Wolf three times, remember, and then got eaten by the wolf. Dave Mitchery does it twenty times and still tries to get away with it. I don't know how he comes out of his little hole and uh, you know speaks to the world. But anyway, nevertheless, this is the reason. This is what everyone's excited about. Should they be excited about it? Well, you decide. We've had this now for a while. Uh, Mullen feels it's unfairly treated. It feels that uh, uh, the system should be changed. People are short in the stock and it's, it's horrible and they should be treated respectfully because they're a real EV company. They make real cars and they make profits. And in fact, they don't. And in fact, Dave Mitry has done this to many companies in the past. However... Uh, this is an update from Mullen, an emerging EV vehicle. Yeah, it's, it's emerging, all right. Um, uh, manufacturer is reporting on the status of the lawsuit it filed against TD Ameritrade, Charles Schwab, National Finance Services, and others. So it's not just one brokerage it has a has a problem with. It has a it has a problem with all brokerages. They don't like the way they operate because they don't like the fact their stock's rubbish. Anyway, let's have a look at it. And of course, because they put some news out, what happens is the stock goes up. Does it go up because you've bought it? No, you couldn't move the stock if you try. You'd have to buy millions and millions of shares. However, they can. They can buy it. It sends it up. Everyone gets excited. They jump on in and then guess what? They dump it. The very people that brought the story out, the very people that uh, bought it, dump it. And you as the retail investor are going, oh, I thought it was going to go up. Well, the reality is don't buy it. It's rubbish. Now, you might say, why didn't I buy it? I'm 95% down. Uh, 7.62. Why not buy at 34 cents? Because it's rubbish. Now, of course, if I had bought, I could have bought it at uh, 26 cents today and sold it at 34 cents and I could have made 32%, which would be great. However, at any minute, it'll go straight back down to 12 cents. I, I, I can't believe we're still here and it hasn't gone uh, been de delisted yet. They keep managing to get around it. Anyway, let's read a bit more of this information. Mullen filed the lawsuit in August 2023 in the United States District Court in the Southern District of New York. The company is seeking compensatory damages and injunctive relief from the defendant's unlawful conduct in violation of Section 10B and Rule 10B-5, pro promulgated thereunder of the of Securities Act of 1934. Earlier this week, Judge Analasia Torres issued an order that Mullen should file an amendment complaint by November the 30th and that the parties shall jointly file a case management plan by, by December 15th. It's just dragging it down, dragging it on and allowing people to come in and dump this stock over and over again. When will people learn? According to the announcement, that plan requires certain dates be specified, including the dates uh, defendants plan on filing any motion to dismiss, as well as other key dates to be agreed to and or ordered by the court. Mullen is aggressively pursuing all remedies available to protect the company and its shareholders. <laughs> They're not protecting the shareholders at all. The people that buy the stock are them. They do it. You're not buying it. Why would you buy it? Right? They buy it. They pump it. And you watch. Later on today, it will go straight back down. Maybe tomorrow. And we'll be right back where we started. And you go, well, what happened there then? It's because they dumped it. If they believed in the stock, they'd buy it and own it and never sell it again. That's not what they do. 
Mullen is aggressively pursuing all remedies uh, uh, available to protect the company and its shareholders, representative of the firm representing Mullen, including Christian Atta uh, and Warshaw Burstein, are optimistic that wrongful conduct by the defendants will be exposed and they'll be held responsible for all monies they have wrongly extracted from Mullen and its shareholders. No chance of this happening, is there? This case raises certain unique unique legal issues concerning how broker-dealers manipulate the marketplace and how such manipulation impacts retail investors, said Warren Bernstein partner Alan M. Pollock in the release, uh, the press release. Look, let's be absolutely clear. Um, um, Mullen, Dave Mitchery and the team aren't, 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 and the band, I should say, aren't, aren't uh, doing you a favour. They're not trying to uh, help you. They're not trying to help the retail investor. Because if they were, they would buy all the shares outstanding. It's flipping 34 cents. Uh, you have got an EV company now, right? Uh, a market cap. Right, let's just look at it just for just for a moment. Right, they could buy every single share today. Ninety-four million. You can buy an entire EV company, including all the vans they can't sell and all the factory and everybody who works there for ninety-four million dollars. Why wouldn't they just buy it themselves? Uh, but they don't. They'll buy it and dump it and all the rest of it. So uh, do as you will with this. Um, I am not buying it, even though I'm down uh, 95%. Uh, I'm not uh, going to get all excited because it's gone up 30%. Um, I'm holding it like a moon bag. It's kind of like um, if it ever turns into the company it was promised to be, then maybe then then it, then it should be a $10 stock, right? Then I'll sell it. But uh, right now. Uh, it, 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 I've written the money off. What do you think? Leave me your thoughts below. Do you think that this is going to get sorted out? Do you think it's a load of nonsense, uh, a load of wrangling that will just drag on and drag on and drag on until people finally go, you know what? Mullen is a waste of blooming space. Click above my head if you want to vote on the poll on X saying, is Mullen a waste of space? Yes or no. And over here, other videos that you might find interesting uh, in the series as well. As always, Take care of your money, your crypto yourselves, and most importantly, take care of each other.